Hey guys, it's me again. Happy Wednesday. So today I am covering five tips for storing, not how to store long-term food, but for deciding and figuring out what type of long-term food you do want to store. Ah, too high. Okay. So in the very first, this isn't, oh, this isn't for like a three month supply. It's more for a full long-term year supply. So the very first tip you want is what type of food do you cook best with? So are you more of a fresh organic type of cooker or do you use a lot of uh, canned food items? There, because when you do long-term food storage, there's a couple items such as freeze-dried food and dehydrated, which are a little bit more of the organic substitutes. There's a lot of canned foods and then there's a lot of rice and dry beans and stuff that takes a little bit longer to cook. So first thing is what type of food are you used to cooking with so that you can adjust that to your long-term food storage cooking. The second one is how are you going to cook your food? So most of the time if you're going to be dipping into your long-term food storage it's probably not for more than a month or two or three at a time and well it might be but you probably won't have no electricity for that time. So you'll probably be cooking it with your oven or your stove and stuff like that. But I do want you to just keep in mind, if you do happen to lose electricity for a week or two weeks and you use that long-term food storage, how are you going to be cooking it? Are you planning on grilling it? Are you planning on doing a Dutch oven? Or do you have a gas grill or something that you can do outside? We have a propane oven that we can use so pretty much anything I cook in the oven and on the stove I can cook outside. So you wanna be sure you know how you're gonna cook that in case for some reason you don't have the utilities that you need to cook with it. So keep that in mind for your long-term food storage. The third one is space. So this one can be tricky. I know not all of us have a whole room or two rooms that you can dedicate to food storage and it does take up a lot of space, I'm not gonna lie. So a couple things to think about is freeze dried and is freeze-dried and dehydrated food with, that you buy from the store typically come in number 10 cans. Some of them would thrive. You have the pantry size cans. And those are a little bit more bulky, but they're still big enough to squeeze in tight places, but not the smallest places. Another thing is if you're gonna be doing a lot of canned and bottled food by yourself, that takes up more space because you have to make sure you store it nice and prevent any shaking and they can't be stacked up high and a lot of that stuff. So if you're going to be doing a lot of bottled, then that's something you need to think about and will most likely take up more storage space. And then another one is if you're going to be buying big five gallon buckets of rice and beans and wheat, if you don't have a place to store that, that you don't want out in the open and people seeing, then don't buy it. Spend a little bit more for the smaller package items that you can hide and put under and fit under the bed where you need to. So that's the third thing is to look up what type of storage space you want um, your food storage to be in. If you have a lot of space or not very much space. Oh, and another thing with that is freeze dried and dehydrated foods take a little bit more water or a lot more water than canned food. So you're gonna be needing to store more water with those as well. And that will obviously take up more storage space. And then the last one, I said five tips. There's four tips. <laughs> so the last one is how much money do you want to spend on food storage? You can have a lot of money and spend, buy everything freeze dried and you can use very minimal money and buy everything canned. It's completely up to you. For me, typically, I do a variety of dehydrated, freeze-dried, and canned. The canned food I like to buy a lot that we use frequently and rotate. The freeze-dried, I typically buy meat. It's, it's like 50 bucks for a number 10 can. It's pretty expensive, but it's going to last me 20 to 30 years, so I don't actually need to get it out again. So you want to look up how much money you have. Freeze-dried food is more expensive than dehydrated food and canned is usually a little bit cheaper than dehydrated food as well. So those are the four things you want to look at when you are planning your long-term food storages. What type of food do you feel familiar cooking with? How are you going to cook your food if you really need to? Storage space and how much money you have. So comment below if you have any questions or any tips to this and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.